Well, looking at the map, we have good news, or at least the appearance, the, the appearance of good news. This level is called, Bud, called Bud's Cut, and there is an A+, right over top of it, and it is shaded in red instead of white. So let's just move along to Blown, and get blown by the wind. Ow. Oh, I'm supposed to just go straight up. Like that. Urgh! So close. I didn't know what I was supposed to do until I failed to do it. There's a bandage way out there. What are you doing way out there, bandage? Let's get you. Straight up. Victory! I didn't get the A+, though, because I went out of my way to get the bandage. I might have come close to it anyway. The bandage is invisible on the replay screen. I can get an A+, plus, no problem, on this level. What the heck? My game has fr frozen up again? No, it hasn't. It has not frozen up. It just took me back to the map. Okay. Underlay, underlay. I'm not going high enough. Need to go higher. Is that final fan in this level over on the right near the top just there as a distraction or a red herring? Here we go. That was plenty high. A plus got. A plus get. Next level. Agent Orange. Agent Orange is not an agent. It's a... Well, it's a chemical agent. It's not a person. There's a Tori Amos song called Agent Orange. Let me tell you what I heard from Agent Orange. Mr. Son of Sam. Mr. Happy Man. Nope. Agent Orange sure has a license to kill. I think you're supposed to actually touch the ground and then jump back up to get high enough. I don't think you're supposed to wiggle your way into the jet stream. Whatever I just did though, it worked, and now I'm warping somewhere. This looks like another Atari 2600 level. This is a real Atari 2600 level. Warning, a few of epilepsy. You should just kill yourself now, because you won't be able to resist playing this game, and this game will kill you. Please open the box enclosed with your copy of this game and withdraw the included pistol, making sure to load it in accordance with Diagram A. Yeah, I don't really like the warp zones so much. I like the main levels, so let's focus on them. Ow. Where am I supposed to go from here? 
I don't get it. I know how to get to the warp zone. Ooh, I go up that way. This game is very tricky. I just use that fan to get enough verticality that I can make my way all the way back to that wall. There we go. Did it. Now wiggle through here and zip across here and run the gauntlet here. Nice. And an A plus on my first, I would say my first try, but it's not my first try as this replay testifies. It's my first successful attempt. Chernobyl. I always thought it was Chernobyl, like with a T R E. Maybe Chernobyl is somewhere else. Also, are there pieces of like jagged metal or spikes at Chernobyl after the accident? probably was Chernobyl. I probably just hallucinated that the name of this place started with a T. Huh. Yeah, this game becomes a lot less fun when you start losing a whole bunch of times. Jump! If you jump too early, you hit your head on the ceiling. If you jump too late, you slide across the edge. You have to be the baby's bear, baby bear's porridge of jumping here. There we go. Whoa! What did I slip on? I don't even know what I did there. All I know is it didn't work. So many places to fall, so little time. Ouch. My character was suffering from some severe vertigo or something as a result of or maybe just motion sickness oh, okay I got in this little corner which interferes with my slide oh no the fan is blowing me off that's not good now I'm back down here this level is so weird buttons aren't really designed to be pressed like several times rapidly so like when you press the button you have to wait a moment for it to pop up again before you can repress it in other words repression is an issue with this game Maybe even recession. Repression can turn into recession if the buttons recede into the plastic skull of the controller after several repeated represses. At that point, there's nothing to do but uh, shoot the patient and bury it, aka buy a new controller. But this controller is almost brand new, so. Hopefully it hasn't died a death by recession yet. Arr! I slip so much because I have to make a little jump and then another little jump. 
It's just too hard to time. Too early. There we go. Bing, bing, bing. Ah! And then I got blown by the wind. Try it again. Alright, let's stop here. Go bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing. Yay! <laughs> level complete. How fast do I have to do this one? I'm not going to mess with this one. Next level, the moon. I sure feel like I'm stuck on the moon. There's all these funny moving shadows. Everyone knows the surface of the moon is crowded with blood-sucking vampires. You can see them clearly with the uh, Hubble telescope photograph. I don't think Hubble is actually for observing close things like the moon. I think it's probably for observing far things like beetle guys. I think it's called Beetlejuice, but it's spelled beetle guys. The Tim Burton movie is spelled Beetlejuice. If you put a beetle into a juicer, will it look like that star? Some questions do not deserve to be answered, or asked, or pondered. Let's just play the next level. Grape Soda! This is an awesome level. I love it already, just from the name. Can I skip through here? That would be awesome if this were a big shortcut. Probably not. What's this? Is that? That's death. Okay. Ow. You probably can skip through here. Yeah, you can. You just need to catch something on your way over. A little too high. A little too high. Way too high. Ugh. But that then that doesn't take you far enough to get to the next platform if you do that. I never know whether to aim for the top of the platform or the side of it. That time I made it to the top and it almost immediately destroyed itself. And then I propelled myself into a sludge monster. Alright, let's go the boring way. I know guys who uh, go this way never get a date. They get 30 points deducted from their SAT score, and um, they don't get invited to any of the rockin' pajama parties either. Alright, so that's a breakaway wall. This is one strange level. This is a breakaway wall, too. Is it possible to go this high road and actually survive, or is this just a red herring? Or in the case of this level, not a red herring, a purple nurple. There we go. I made it. Now let's go fast, but not too fast. Break down the wall, break down the wall. Humpty Dumpty. Have a great fall. No, I made it. That was cute. And I died at the last moment. My life was flashing before my eyes. I walked into the light. What's down here? Just another path, another way to go. Another song to sing. I wasted all kinds of time in this run. I still got an A+, alright. Enough grape soda, I'm starting to feel sick from the sugar. Too much grape soda leads to headaches, alcohol poisoning, and death. Centipede. Oh no, I was expecting to um, be shooting mushrooms and have a funny little penis ship at the bottom of the screen that for some reason couldn't move up, only side to side. No, it actually, I think it can move up, but I only move it side to side, and that's why I suck at the game. Plus, I can't do anything with a trackball. Ow.
Done. Wait a second. Oh, I still got an A+, plus, even though I recoiled in horror from Bandage Girl, because she was wearing some uh, really tight jeans that she purchased at Hot Topic, and I wasn't having any of it. Next level. The Kraken with a C. It's not the Kraken with a K-R-A-K, -K, it's the Kraken, because your skull goes crack, I don't know. Maybe you have to be smoking some crack in order to enjoy this level, because they designed it like shit. It's a crack smoking level. It's for a crack smoking man. And Bandage Girl is spazzing out, and now I'm going into the negative world. Like in Mario Brothers. World negative one, three lives, three chances to die. I could set fire to my hair. I could make out with a grizzly bear. I could brush my teeth with antifreeze. I could command a cheetah to get on its knees. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. I could jump in front of a train. I could ask Mike Tyson, are you insane? I could get cut by a buzzsaw. I could... Approach the Secret Service wearing a brass claw. <sighs> Come on, focus on living. You could spend your whole life sitting in front of Final Fantasy VII trying to resurrect Aerith. And that's a really dumb way to die. Alright, the Kraken. I have to do it again, because the first time didn't count. Level complete. The target time is 13 seconds. And I wasted too much time on the first fan. And then did everything perfectly after that. Alright, let's do it again. Third time's the charm. Key. Fan. Ow. Key. Fan. Key. Fan. Wall. Key. Wall. Done. <laughs> I think that might have been sub nine seconds. Nine point oh three. Next level. Spineless. Huh? There's a key over here, so I guess I have to get that, and then I just die when I get the second key, because there's nowhere for me to go. Maybe I get this faster, and then... No, I don't get it. I don't understand. No comprende! Me no comprende! I think I can almost do it if I jump on the second wall as it's unforming and just hit the sweet spot, like right there. That's probably so not the way to do this. If I go there, I die. I don't know why I thought that little nook was going to be the answer to my problems. I think I'm supposed to avoid the second key and just never ever touch it. No, that doesn't make sense, because then the ceiling is in my way. I can't get past the ceiling without touching the second key. But when I touch the second key, I die. You could touch the second key. You could not touch the second key. Whether you touch it or not, you're dead. You might as well shoot yourself in the head. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Yeah. There's just 
nothing to do here, nothing to see here. I can jump across here and land in the spikes. I can jump off the screen, all that I like. Any way I do it, I'm gonna be dead. Might as well shoot myself in the head. Ugh. That was closer to a solution. There we go. I got on top. Now I just drive this down. And rescue bandage girl. Is that just all luck? I don't think I can see. No, I can't see the collapsing doors. So this replay is going to look really pointless. But yeah, I did it. Next level. Next level, please. I want to play the next level. Here I am at the next level. This is like a harder version, I guess, of uh, the other level with the weird falling key. That unlocks saws. Maybe there's no falling key in this version. I can just take my time and not get hit by saws. I totally jumped there and it just didn't register. Ow. Ow. There we no. I'll just wait. Just wait and do it like this. Ow. Ow. Alright, patience. There we go. Ugh, am I supposed to stop in between them? I guess it doesn't matter where I stop. I just have to not stop under them. Ugh, I almost made it. There we go. If you try to outrun them, then you run into the bottom ones. <laughs> I can definitely make it past if I just walk and then stop like that. Pick my moment. There we go. So far, so good. Ow. Stop here. Walk and stop. Ah, almost made it. Almost died there by going off the screen. Got it. Made it back to the middle. That was nice. Ow! Ugh, that saw got me again. When I make the jump from the middle, I need to not, I need to do it all in one motion. I need to not stop until I'm past the second saw on the final platform. So something like that. Or maybe just never stop, maybe just make another jump. Here. Walk and stop. Here. Now get ready and go. Wee! Second key. I have to go back to the middle for the third key. And then go back and save Bandage Girl. All in a day's work. And of course they timed the saws to be super annoying, so if you just barely make it past the second saw on your platform, then you run smack into the other one in midair. Walk and stop. Down. Yeah, if you don't stop there on the middle platform, then you run into the other one in midair. They made it so you definitely can't just sprint across.
Oh no, I have to go back this way now. There we go. And I got an A plus somehow. 22.50 is the target time and watch all these meat boys splatter into saws and needles and pins and pin cushions and icicles and popsicles. <laughs> I was 0 0.09 seconds away from not getting it. Dust bunnies. Oh, this is a virus level. I like the virus levels because they're kind of... I think they're designed to be hard because there's a lot of enemies on the screen, but the designer of this game didn't quite take into account how easy it is to like just not get hit by them by anticipating where they're going to go, just waiting for them to be out of the way. I like levels that look hard but are like kind of easier than they appear. It's also just kind of fun like avoiding these things. Whoa! I almost made it right there. The levels are definitely amping up in difficulty. Maybe the dark world is for masochists only and I should just be completing the light world, but... If I can plant on this game, I will plant on this game. It would be sick if there was no trophy at all for completing the dark world, it was just like there. There would be a real uh, obstacle to platinum levers every everywhere. So the target time is 11 seconds, how fast did I do it? I did it in way, way longer than 11 seconds because I kept stopping. So if you want to A plus this level, you have to be super fast, you have to almost like not even pay attention to the dust bunnies, as they're calling themselves, and just go. There we go, I did it. Next, please. Crawl space. Got the key. Now this fan goes away. Whoa! Now this fan tur turbocharges itself and launches me way up here. Alright. I can definitely handle this. And then there's another key up there, and then I go way back down to the bottom left. Come on, turbo fan, do your thing. Key's on this side, for sure. If I go now, I die. I have to go straight across while he's in the crawl space. And again. Now there's a key over here. No, this is Bandage Girl. Where's the other key? The other key's probably in the upper right. Yeah, of course it is. Wait for Fathead again. Now go back down. Bandage girl, ahoy. Level complete. 31 seconds is my time for this one. Let's do it. No wasting of time. Just manage, manage, manage. Cope, cope, cope. If I go now, I die because I get past him, but then... He's still right there, and there's no other crawl space. Oh, I hit the blade at the very end. I was trying not to stall. I didn't know how much time I had left. Go there. Go there.
32.97. My time was, it was something, it wasn't 31. Let's do it again. Do it again. I think I might be able to go a little faster, because I think maybe he doesn't go all the way to the edge. So he actually doesn't corner you, it just looks like he does. Try it. No, he doesn't corner you. You can go faster. You can go way faster. blade just barely fairly and squarely but barely can I pause for a moment I need to get my composure it's gonna be okay it's just a game Rafa it's just a game it's just a game all right count to ten Straighten my headset a little, it was falling off. Here we go. Splat. Okay. Q. You. 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 Ah. Died again on the descent. Get up there, come on. like I'm shouting at my penis. Get up there! Cool. Oh, you! Ah. Uh, I was doing better before, now I'm slowing it down every time. Maybe it's a ceremonial slowdown. You! No. I don't want to wait for him, that's a sure way to fail the level. up there. I was almost fast enough to do the previous crawl space that time. I don't think I need to do the previous crawl space though, I just need to do exactly like I've been doing and not waste any time at the very end. Down. Done. And then I'll never have to look at that level again. Insurance? Is this what happens when you don't take out health insurance under the uh, Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act? All these purple things under your bloodstream. There's a bandage. I spy a bandage. What else is there around here? I can go up this way and die. Oh, there's a key down there. All right, let's just take this level slowly. This is kind of a slow going level. Climb, climb. I can't get back up if I fall there because I need to climb on the actual here. Yeah, that is certain death if I fall in that spot. Huh. That's a tricky bandage. Let's 
So there's a key over there. But how do I get to it? I just carefully descend. Carefully descend the broken stairway. Sue the owner of the building if I trip and fall. There we go. I got the bandage, so now I have to be extra careful not to die. There. 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 Go ahead and get this key. There. Mm, there's Bandage Girl. Ta-da! How quickly do I have to do that? I have to do that in 32. Let's do it in 32. Time to waste. Better to die and try again than waste too much time. That's my philosophy. If at first you don't succeed, die, try again. Was it die, try again, or try, try again? If at first you don't succeed, die, try again. No, I think that sounds more like something that they would teach children than try, try again. Where's the key? Oh, the key's up here. No time to waste. I must do it. I have done it. Grade A+. Plus. I died and tried again. I'm uh, getting a little dizzy from playing this game for too long, so thank you so much. I will be back with some more meaty fun 